Good morning, my YouTube friends. Monica here with my wild style. Remember, God loves you. Today, Rhonda and I are taking a couple of grandkids to garage sales. So, we just got done with work. I'm going to head her way. <clears throat> I clean an office um, on the weekend to make some extra money. It's my mad money. It keeps us being able to find some good deals at the local uh, garage sales. So it was freezing this morning and now it's getting to be pretty warm. I'm going to have to peel this jacket off. See you in a bit. Please. You guys made a test of stuffed animals and didn't pick anything up? <laughs> <laughs> They're boys. They're looking for something else. Oh. <laughs> hey, I got that new foot. Hi. But you got something last time. You got something last time, too. Hmm. Well, that's what I got something last time, last one, and I got Oh, well, it all came together. It came together. Yeah. I see that wrap with Well, we, we put the, um, it's, it's cement, and we developed a small leak, so we put the uh, oh, yeah. liner in there. Yeah. We saw one, and you can have it. That looks like a chore, huh? That looks like a chore. It's not <laughs> bad once you just get it separated, but oh. to make them fit, you just uh, stuff them in where they fit. Oh, neat. But yeah, they're all color coded that on the really ends of them. I know, isn't that that? And it's got a handle, and you can haul it with you. I use mine like that a lot. We use it all the time when we go camping. Taste at home. I love these books. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> Cute. Beautiful yard. Yeah, and if you tighten this part up too, it it makes it harder to pedal. So that way you get more of a workout too. Did you find anything in the free box? Yeah. I found something, but I found nothing. Yeah. I just found this one. I don't know what to do. I should buy this so you guys can go to work and start making a living. <laughs> a welder.
can tell what the rest of it is. No, it's your story. And I'm sticking to it. Do I have that hearing headlight for you? I do. <laughs> So we stopped at the Goodwill. Excuse me. See what goodies we could find. Clothes. They're starting to bring their winter stuff out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> kind of holy. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty low, too, it looks like. No wonder he's down there. Rhonda is looking for some plates to make some flowers. And here's what she started with. And they are absolutely gorgeous. We really like this thing too. Find the right colors for it. Something to hang on the tree. I think so. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. These are cute and flannel. <laughs> Christmas things. I found a vintage creamer and sugar ball and coffee set. I'm going to put those pure red pots in the center next time our company comes and a couple of gray pillows I've been looking for there at all baseball figures yeah it feels a little chilly I got the air on and it's pretty cool out so it feels a little freezing
I'm just going to show you this. Oh, that is super cute. It says it's fine china. Nice. I just I'll take it. Something like that and make yeah. get some kind of stuff on it for Western. Yeah. Isn't that darling? It is really cute. Wanna try it? Okay guys, I wanted to share with you what I got from the garage sales. Um, I got two of these emergency blankets. They're always handy to have in our vehicles and since we have so many, um, including a four-wheeler. Um, I thought that would be perfect for vehicles. Um, I also got this uh, recipe holder, um, and it has um, all the index cards in it, too. Uh, I got some recipes both on a card, recipe cards I don't want to put in there. I got these pretty unique bottles um, with the pumper on them and I thought they'd be perfect for my homemade soap my liquid soap and there was two of them and they were 75 cents a piece I got this canning and freezing book it's an older version but some of the best recipes are in the older cookbooks so I'm excited to look through this and see what we can make. A couple of unique jars. Um, I think they're probably half pints, wide mouth, or maybe wide mouth pints. They were a quarter a piece. This was pretty unique, I thought. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Um, Crafts Parmesan cheese. Um, and it looks like it's in really pretty good shape. I'm going to clean it up and put it on eBay. And this one was also 25 cents. And we always like to put powdered sugar in these for desserts. I also got these Harker pottery. And this is the cornet um, pattern um, sugar and creamer with some matching salt and pepper shakers. They roughly go for about 20 bucks. Um, mine has um, some issues on the bottom of one of my salt shakers. Um, so I'm probably going to ask 15 for the set when I list it. I also got another tripod. Uh, it looks like I spent $2 on it. But my other tripod does not have the screw-on mount um, for my um, um, phone adapter so I can videotape um, all of my videos on. This is really handy since I use my phone to do most of my videos. And you just push this up and slide your phone in here. I also got a belt, a nice leather belt. Uh, looks like I paid a dollar for it. It's a couple inches too big, but that's not a big deal. I'll just cut it. All of my belts are plastic and they're falling apart. You always need a good leather one to make you last. And my daughter collects old vintage cameras and I thought she would absolutely love this one, especially at the price. Well, thank you guys for spending the day with us and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.